how to go back to Windows 10 from Windows 11. The first thing you need to do is locate the star icon. The star icon could be in the center or to the bottom left hand corner of your taskbar. As you can see guys, for me, it's to the bottom left hand corner here. Once you've found it, simply right click on it and then you'll be greeted with a menu here. In this menu, look for where it says settings. As you can see guys, settings is right here. Once you've found it, simply left click on it. Once the settings window has opened, make sure you're in system by simply left clicking on system. Once you've done that guys, to the right hand side, you'll see various system options. Scroll down until you see where it says recovery, reset, advanced startup, go back. The go back feature is what we're looking for. So the recovery system settings is what we need. Once you've found recovery guys, look to the right hand side and left click on the arrow. Once you've done that, you'll be in the recovery section of your system settings. At the very top, you can see it says, fix problems without resetting your PC. Resetting can take a while. First, try resolving issues by running a troubleshooter. Underneath it says recovery options. The first option of recovery options is reset this PC, choose to keep or remove your personal files, then reinstall Windows. Go back. If this version isn't working, try going back to Windows 10. And finally, advanced startup. Restart your device to change startup settings, including starting up from a disk or USB drive. The recovery option that we're looking for guys is go back. This option will allow us to downgrade or roll back our computer from Windows 11 back down to Windows 10. Once you've found the go back option, navigate to the right hand side and left click on go back. Once you've done that guys, a small window will open called go back to Windows 10. Windows will then ask you a question. Why are you going back? And you must check mark the box for one of these options before you can left click on next. I'm going to select for another reason. So simply left click on the box to check mark it for the appropriate reason as to why you're going back to Windows 10. There's a small text box underneath that appears where you can fill in more information about your other reason. I'm going to leave this blank for this video demonstration guys. Once you've answered this question, simply left click on next. Windows then asks you, check for updates, before you go back, try installing the latest updates. This might fix the problems you are having. So if you are experiencing some problems with Windows 11 guys, before you downgrade, consider checking for updates. If you want to continue with going back to Windows 10, simply left click on no thanks. What you need to know. This might take a while and you won't be able to use your PC until it has finished. Leave your PC plugged in and turned on. After going back, you'll have to reinstall some apps and programs. You'll lose any changes made to settings after the upgrade to Windows 11. Are your files backed up? This shouldn't affect them, but it's best to be prepared. Make sure you've taken the time to digest and understand all these points from Windows before you continue with going back to Windows 10. If you still want to continue, simply left click on next. Don't get locked out. If you use the password to sign into Windows 10, make sure you know it. You won't be able to sign in without it. Do not press next if you do not know your password as you will get locked out. If you know your details for signing into Windows, simply left click on next. And finally, you're brought to the final window which says, thanks for trying Windows 11. If you end up missing improved search, security and startup, come back to Windows 11 anytime. And as you can see guys, you have two options. You have a button to go back to Windows 10 and another to cancel. If you want to go back to Windows 10, simply left click on go back to Windows 10 and your PC will begin the process. If you want to remain on Windows 11, simply left click on cancel. For this video guide, I'm not going to be going back to Windows 10 as I like Windows 11. So I'm going to left click on cancel. All right guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to go back to Windows 10 from Windows 11. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so